How's it going? And welcome back. Couldn't resist. Had to do another section. And that is, yeah, 28. Let's have another old chub. Just for company. Yeah, section 28, revelation given through Joseph Smith, the prophet, to Oliver Cowdery at Fayette, New York, September 1830. Hiram Page, a member of the church, had a certain stone It professed to be receiving revelations by its aid concerning the upbuilding of Zion and the order of the church. Several members had been deceived by these claims. Oh, so he had some phony magic rocks. Unlike Joseph Smith. Or maybe it was just a magic hat. I mean, it might have, like, been the one that landed on Frosty the Snowman. You know? Magic hat. But no, magic rocks. Okay. We're going to get through this mask, too. Damn it. Ugh. Just prior to the appointed conference, the prophet inquired earnestly of the Lord concerning the matter of this revelation, and this revelation followed. See History of the Church, Volume 1, page 109. If you do, let me know what how cool it was. Uh, we'll get there someday, one page at a time. Joseph's position of presidency defined. Oliver warned against undue assumption. Oliver's mission to the Lamanites stated he to labor with Hiram Page, whom Satan had deceived. Not a good start, folks. Hiram Page had not appoint well, Hiram Page not appointed by the Lord, nor accepted by the people as a revelator of the church. He had some phony rocks. They weren't real rocks. <laughs> they weren't magical anyway. What? <laughs> Behold, I say unto thee. Oliver, that it shall be given unto thee that thou shalt be heard by the church in all things, whatsoever thou shalt teach them by the comforter. <laughs> That's what it's all about, being comforted, isn't it? Yeah, it's comforting. Concerning the revelations and the commandments which I have given. That Holy Ghost who's the comforter. He just makes you feel better. Doesn't have to make sense. Fuck it. It just feels good. Two. But behold, verily, verily, I drink unto you. Me too. I say unto thee, 
no one shall be appointed to receive hang on uh, appointed to receive commandments and revelations in this church excepting my servant Joseph Smith Jr. The buck stops there. For he receiveth them even as Moses. So, whoa, that's some authority. Three. And thou shalt be obedient unto the things which I shall give unto him, even as Aaron. <clears throat> and that's Moses' uh, what, stepbrother or something like that. To declare faithfully the commandments and the revelations with power and authority unto the church. Four. And if thou art led at any time by the comforter to speak or teach, <laughs> the comforter <laughs> to speak or teach or at all times by the way of commandment unto the church thou mayest do it it's all right Five, but thou shalt not write by way of commandment, but by wisdom, whatever that means. Six, and thou shalt not command him who is at thy head, makes sense, and at the head of the church. Seven, and I have given him the keys of the mysteries and the revelations, which are sealed. Whoa, can't wait. And, until I shall appoint unto them another in his stead. All right. Damn. Better chase that one. <sighs> That's better. Eight. And now, behold, I say unto you that you shall go unto the Lamanites. I preach my gospel unto them, and inasmuch as they receive thy teachings, thou shalt cause my church to be established among them, and thou shalt have revelations, but write them not by way of commandment. So, yeah. Nine, and now, behold, I say unto you, that it is not revealed, and no man knoweth where the city Zion shall be built. But it shall be given hereafter. Behold, I say unto you, that it shall be on the borders of by the Lamanites, so that helps a lot. I'm going to go check the map. <laughs> Ten! Thou shalt not leave this place until after the conference, and my servant Joseph shall be appointed to pers 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 preside 
preside over the conference by the voice of it and voice of it and what he saith to thee thou shalt tell. Eleven. And again, thou shalt take thy brother Hiram Page between him and thee alone and tell him that those things which he hath written from that stone are not of me, and that Satan deceiveth him. <clears throat> Twelve. And for behold, for behold, these things have not been appointed unto him, neither shall anything be appointed unto any of this church contrary to the church covenants. No splintering here. Thirteen. For all things must be done in order and by common consent in the church by the prayer of faith. That's what makes the magic work. Fourteen. And thou shalt assist to settle all these things according to the covenants of the church, before thou shalt take thy journey among the Lamanites. This is in 1830, so they mean Indians, <laughs> who don't act anything like the Lamanites, who were land-hungry and the Indians, Native Americans, pardon me. I have a little bit of that in me. Everybody says that, but it's true. Uh, the, the Native Americans, uh, like their philosophy used to be man belongs to the earth. The earth doesn't belong to man. But, of course, your Bible tells you otherwise. So, but they call them Lamanites. Here. Okay. Fifteen. And it shall be given thee from the time thou shalt go until the time thou shalt return what thou shalt do. All right. Sixteen. And thou, sh thou must open thy mouth at all times declaring my gospel. At all times, really? Always? Perpetually? Yeah, that sucks. For everybody around you. Declaring my gospel with the sound of rejoicing. Amen. And that's it for 28. And I think that's all I can stand for one night. So I'll see you guys later. I hope. Unless that totally turns you off. Which is possible. If not, peace. The fuck out. Have a wonderful whatever the fuck it is you're having. Chime in. Say what you want. Open channel. Video responses. I'd love to see some. Haven't yet. Bye.